August of 2017 marked a rare opportunity, a total solar eclipse that passed right through the middle of the state of Oregon. The eclipse just happened to fall on our wedding anniversary, so my wife and I decided to celebrate. We took our trusty 172 and flew from our home on the Oregon coast to the town of Madras, which fell dead center in the path of totality. We spent two days enjoying the fair-like atmosphere at the Madras airport and the nearby Solar Fest, tent camping under the wing of the airplane. In addition to the two-day long party, we enjoyed a visit to the Ericsson Aircraft Museum and even had a front row seat to watch a flight of five vintage warbirds come into the airport. And then there's the eclipse itself. That's an experience I just can't capture in a YouTube video. You have to be there in person to see the sights, hear the sounds, and feel the temperature drop as the moon blots out the sun's light and turns day into night. The eclipse turned the normally quiet Madras airport into a very busy one. They brought in a temporary control tower and assigned specific time slots to arriving aircraft. I was a little nervous having never attended a busy fly-in event like this before, but the good folks at Madras did an excellent job of ushering in aircraft over Lake Billy Chinook and the Deschutes River. I managed to capture some pretty good photos and video from the trip and I hope you guys will enjoy. Clear! Wave at the little kids. <laughs> Check at zero two seven eight hills for ground. Departure frequency one two six point zero. Squawk four seven six three. Departure frequency one two six point zero and squawk four seven six three for eight zero two seven eight. Sack 278, Rebecca, correct. Text to Renop area via Charlie Alpha Mike, cross runway 2 at Alpha. Renop area via Charlie Alpha Mike, cross runway 2 at Alpha, 80278. Hillsborough Tower, Skyhawk 80278, is 31 left at Alpha 8, ready for departure. Skyhawk 80278, Hillsborough Tower, runway 31 left at Alpha 8, clear for takeoff. 31 left at Alpha 8, clear for takeoff, 80278. Power is verified and airspeed's alive. Traffic, one o'clock, same altitude, less than one mile. Out for the traffic, thank you. 80278. Polar departure is Sky 80278, about three miles south of Hillsboro, passing through 3000 VFR. 20, sorry, 80278, radar contact has reported without further climate. We're going for 5500. Madras Tower, Skyhawk 80278 is over Cove, 3800. Remember T78, uh, do you see other, tra other traffic over Cove, you're number two right now. 
Uh, no other traffic over Cove. I do have someone in sight uh, about a mile north of me, also northbound. Number 368, Roger, follow that traffic. We'll make sure it's the right one. Madras Tower, Sky 8278 is over resort, turning toward Madras. Ahead, 278 in our left downwind, runway 34, report midfield. Left downwind 34, report midfield, 278. Base 26 Alpha, please turn as approved, continue for runway 34. 26 Alpha, turn left, base 34. Mattress Tower, Sky Gate 0278 is midfield, left down one 34. Ahead 278, runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land 34, 0278. Mendes Ground, Sky Gate 0278 is clear of runway 34 at Bravo. Survey 80278, Mendes Ground, Texas, turn ahead, look for following the vehicle. And you think it's pretty busy, welcome to Mendes. Taxi straight ahead, uh, thank you, 80278. As soon as we had the airplane tied down, we set up our tent underneath the 172's wing. It was the perfect setup and the airplane wing offered us just a little bit of shade from the central Oregon sun. We spent the rest of the day enjoying the fair-like atmosphere at the Madras airport, including a walk over to SolarFest set up in a nearby field, a visit to the Ericsson Aircraft Museum, and the food cart set up on the Madras ramp. The highlight of the day was easily the sunset arrival of five vintage warbirds. We had a front row seat to watch these World War II era airplanes land on the Madras runway and taxi over to the Ericsson Aircraft Museum. The pictures and video are only half the experience though. You really have to be there in person to listen to the sound that these vintage piston engine aircraft make when they come in. It was nothing short of amazing.
Once the sun had set, we climbed into our sleeping bags and crossed our fingers for clear skies to view the eclipse the next day. All of that preparation and giant party for two and a half minutes of twilight and a few crickets. But it was worth it. We had a great time and I would do it all over again. We spent a couple of hours in our chairs watching the larger aircraft depart. Then we taxied out onto the ramp and headed toward home. On our way home, we began to appreciate our short wait on the ramp at Madras as we flew along Highway 26 and saw the endless miles of cars stopped on the roadway. That was it for this trip. We had a great time and I'm already looking forward to our next airplane camping adventure.